Hi folks, David Waring here again with LearnBonds.com and today we're going to talk about yield to maturity. When people talk about the yield of a bond, they are almost always referring to the bond's yield to maturity. Yield to maturity takes into account the coupon interest payment you receive on the bond, changes in the value of the bond as it moves towards maturity, and the return received on the reinvestment of interest payments. Confused yet? Let's break that down into a few pieces which are easier to digest. Key concept. Bond prices move inversely to interest rates. When interest rates rise, the value of an existing bond falls. When interest rates fall, the value of an existing bond rises. When a bond is trading at a price below the amount you will receive from the bond at maturity, which is also known as face value, it is said to be trading at a discount. When a bond is trading at a price which is above its face value, it is said to be trading at a premium. The coupon payments that you receive from most bonds will normally be exactly the same in dollar terms as the original buyer, regardless of whether the bond is trading at a premium or a discount. Because the price of the bond has changed however, in percentage terms you will not be getting the same return per year. To calculate the new re return, you simply divide the dollar value of the annual coupon payments by the price you paid for the bonds. The resulting number is called the bond's current yield. However, when investing in a bond that is trading at a premium or a discount, current yield is a misleading indicator for the total return you can expect. If you buy a bond that is trading at a discount, you will be paid the face value when held to maturity. As the face value is greater than the price you paid for the bond, you will have a gain. This gain is not included in the calculation of current yield. In the case of a bond which is trading at a premium, you will receive less than what you paid at maturity, which is also not included in the current yield calculation. As these differences are often significant, they should be included in the overall return you receive when investing in a particular bond. This is where yield to maturity comes into play. Key concept. Yield to maturity takes into account the coupon payments the difference between the purchase price and the bond's face value, and the return you, you should receive from reinvesting the coupon payments. When evaluating a bond, you will always know what the coupon payment of the bond is, as well as the difference between the purchase price and the face value of the bond. As no one knows what interest rates will be in the future, however, there is no way to know what rate an investor will receive when reinvesting their coupon payments. This is a large dilemma because one of the major benefits of investing in bonds is the power of compounding, and if you leave out the return from reinvesting coupon payments, a large portion of the actual return you should realize is missing. To overcome this dilemma, the yield to maturity calculation makes the assumption that coupon payments will be reinvested at the yield to maturity rate for the life of the bond. While this means that the yield to maturity calculation is not 100% percent perfect, it still gives the best estimate of the return you should expect over the life of a bond. It also gives the best standardized measurement to look at when comparing one bond versus another. I've included a link to a yield to maturity calculator below this video if you'd like to try it out. That's our lesson for today. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments section below. For more great bond information, also be sure to visit us at learnbonds.com, follow us on Twitter at learnbonds, and like us on Facebook at Facebook dot com forward slash learn bonds page. Thanks for watching.